Hey everybody, and welcome to part two of Pokemon Christmas version. I want to say Crystal version for a second, but wait, did my phone literally vibrate as soon as I literally started? Okay, um, my girlfriend was just getting it, but anyways, I got Sparky to level seven, Grinch is level nine, and Fireplace is uh level eleven. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the item from Grinch. He also learned, um, uh, Quick Attack. And Sparky learned Growl or Tail. Wait, no, it was like, it was, it was something. But anyways, I'm going to give him the EXP share just in case we have to swap out. Like, while he does get ex uh, boosted experience because he's a traded Pokemon, he does level up slow. Hey, I just, lo I just love rarity. You just can't get enough. Well, that's okay. Everyone loves rarity. Is rarity a person or what? Be able to melt it. Wait, what? Ooh, new gimmick. What is this? Why can't I go in? Close for holiday. Oh, okay. No more dumb trainer school. The sages in Sprout Tower got tired of being disturbed by trainers. Now they only let serious trainers upstairs. So, like me, let me guess. Hang on a second. I gotta fix something. For some reason, my thing went out of proportion. Anyways, let's try and take on the gym. So, you're gonna beat Falconer? Good luck with that! Actually, I know I'm gonna beat him because he's a flying type trainer. What do you got? Aren't you Rod? No, you're Abe. Rod's the next guy. Sparrow still. I'm pretty sure I th Yeah, no, I learned Tail Whip. I was right. What did I say, Growl? That's not gonna do anything because I'm an electric type, but. Here comes the thunder shock, and I've gotten like six paralysis, and uh, like since I didn't. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. I wish I had quick attack on you as well. Gained a boost of 82. Sparky gained a boost of 82. <laughs> Wait, what? So it splits it in half in this game. And learn thunder wave. Well, there we go. This can't be true. Well, it is true. Abe, and that was really weird though. And the fact that it actually outsped me was even weirder. Pikachu is really good speed. The keyword is guts. Those here are trying night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! I always liked how this gym really looked like a money symbol, you know? And you're Rod. I know you are. Yup. And you're Pidgeys. Ooh, god, those things do way too much. Boosted 60! Gained another boosted 60! <laughs> so funny! And then just got another one. Oof, I almost died, but gained a boost at 60, and then we're gonna level up to the other part. Oh yeah, we got really low HP at level 10 though, I think we're gonna have like 25, yeah. Gah! I love how that's like all he says afterward. Anyways, um, Sneasel really isn't learning an Ice type move fast enough, because I don't believe like, I, well I know for a fact Ice Shard and Ice Cycle Crash won't work in this game yet. So I really don't think it's going to be that good of a Pokemon, but whatever. We're going to use it because it's not a Pokemon that I generally use, and it could be good. And by the sounds of it, we might actually need to beat the gym before we go into the uh, Sprout Tower in this, because they only accept serious trainers. I haven't checked, but I really think that would make it, like, make it seem like we're serious, right? I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip a flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon, even though they're flying Pokemon. Like, I always say bird, like, not all flying types of birds. Uh, this one, you know, Aerodactyl existed. Three Pokemon. Pidgeotto. Level 9. Ew. Well, that was actually really easy to KO him. Getting a boost of 162? Holy cow. That's a lot of experience. Now we're level 10. Let me guess, it's a bunch- oh yeah, no, I'm like, are you just gonna have, like, a random bunch of, like, freaking, um, uh, Pidgeotos? A level 11 Spearow, though. Oh, it's still 2 a KO. And there's that Paralysis I was talking about that I keep getting lucky with. Ah, oh, Fury Attack, I could actually do a lot of damage with the Stab. And it can hit up to 5 times. But it only hit 4 times, so... Lucky for us that, you know, we didn't get, uh, damage too bad. Anyways, let's just go for another Thunder Shot. And finish off this hero in this epic boss battle. Is that gonna give me half as much experience? Oh, actually, it almost did. 100. 
times two. And Pidgeotto again. Level 12? Oh my lord. Oh no, no, look at that. It's gonna be a 2 a KO for sure. Can we get the paralysis though? I wish I had quick Wait, do I have quick attack? Oh no, never mind. We're gonna outspeed now. Because it cuts the speed by 75%, I believe, up until Gen 7. And then. Oh, well, actually, no, we'll use quick attack as soon as it doesn't really matter. Oh no, we don't have quick attack. Not yet. Ah, darn it! Thought we could beat it. My girlfriend really needs to use the washroom, but she really doesn't want to use the bus one. It's so funny. Anyways, poor Sparky. I think Grinch can deal with it, though. Grinch does have quick attack. I feel like Grinch is shiny, but it's not. It's supposed to be red, but just... The graphics in this game are really weird. There we go. 289. Holy Grinch-tastic. Wow! Two levels, man! Didn't learn anything, though. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. And there, hopefully this allows traded Pokemon to last a little longer. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. I feel like there's a missing line there. This is pretty much Mud Slap, right? Eh, yeah, it'll be a one-time thing. You can use it... Wait. Oh, no, never mind. You can use it as many times as you want. But it's Mud Slap. I don't have a Pokemon that can make use of Mud Slap. Uh, Cyndaquil is a special attacker and can't even learn it. Also, a phone call. Hmm. Hello, May. I have something else to give you. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you go meet him there? So I'm like, is it the egg? I don't need the egg, but I'll happily take it. Uh, Pokeballs, potions, whatever, you name it, I'll happily take it, buddy. Long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He wants me to give you this TM, which you like. It's probably return. 33. That TM contains Ice Punch! Ooh, it's fitting for the weather, don't you think? We figured you could put it to better use than we could. Well, I better be going. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, what would come up exactly? <gasps> Wait, Ice Punch. I know who can learn Ice Punch. I know for a fact that he can learn Ice Punch. And Grinch is gonna learn it. Yeah. <gasps> and they do stay. Oh, dude, you have made the best Gen 2 Pokemon game in existence. You really have. Wait, can I go on the ice? Oh god, it's ice puzzles. I don't like that very much. Let's go in here. A bell spread over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. Oh, god, why so big? I'm waiting here to warm up before I go back outside. Bro Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Yeah, okay. Do you still like find wild Pokemon in here by chance? Do you guys still all have Bell Sprouts? Or are there literally no trainers in here anymore? Maybe there are just no trainers in here anymore. An awakening. Oh no, you guys better not have sleep powder. You better not have like increased your levels to have sleep powder. Smoke ball. Why do I need a smoke ball when I have a cleanse tag? Well, I guess smoke balls guarantee escape. Seems counterintuitive though to give me two of the very similar items. What is this item? Escape rope. Is there even any point to coming in here other than just items? Oh, it's a gauntlet, okay. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Well, they really decreased the amount of trainers in this game, I feel like. They didn't have like the bug catcher or anything in this. And Things always appear on the bottom for some reason. Sage Jin in his Bell Sprout. I think I can really do this. So I'm gonna switch into Grinch for growth. Ice Punch! Ooh, it's a one hit KO. And Spark again. Oh, level 11. Sweet. Oh, now you're learning Quick Attack. Okay, that's definitely better than Growl in my opinion. Tail. Wait, no. No! No! Why did you get rid of that? It didn't even let me move. Dyke move, man. Anyways, let's ice punch it. That's so disappointing. We may have to abandon Sparky now. Sparky, stop gaining experience, bro. I'm pretty sure I can survive. No, I didn't even survive. Is ice punch physical in this? It actually might be. I 
beaten by a mere child. Yeah, who lost their freaking Thundershock because he's a boob. The Elder's H L HM lights even pitched to black darkness. I guess we can go back to the other, uh... We can go back to the cave then and explore it before we go on. We have Neil and his bell spell. Well, guess now we can just quick attack it, I guess. Doesn't really do much, but, yeah, it works, I guess. Level 12! Well, you know what? I really don't care that you're honestly dead at this point, though. I really don't. Wow. It is my head that is bright. I love how he talks like he's bald. It's just weird, but okay. Uh, anyways, I think we want to use Fireplace over Grinch. Poor Sparky, though, man. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. How much I trust my Pokemon, I trust them fine. Shouldn't it be like how much they trust me though, in all due respect, sir? Hey, level 12. Oh, thank god we learned Ember. And of course, the next Pokemon is Hutu. Oh, we got the burn and the crit though. Oh. And Zigzag. Hey, Zigzag, awesome. I finally learned Ember and you don't even use Bell Sprouts anymore, man. Yay, we beat Troy. Yes, your trust is real. No, my, my trust is not real, dude. And a nugget, literally 5,000 free bucks. Totally gonna buy some potions down there, though. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Back in the original game, these guys all had like level 3 Bell Sprouts. Oh god, he has 6 Pokemon, including a Bell Sprout. Ember! Oh god, he's got rap. It's gonna be annoying. Oh, I just need one more. Zigzag, eh? You know what? I'm gonna swap into Grinch. Ice Punch. Ice Punch. Good. Ooh, you actually level up pretty fast. And Hoodoo, you can stand on a Hoodoo. One shot that. Go to level 13. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love his back sprite though so much. Another Hoodoo. Wait, my, my Ice Punch missed, that's sad. What's your last Pokemon? Please be a Bell Sprout. Oh, excellent. And there we go, we should be able to get the level up, which means that we'll finally get to evolve Fireflies. Oh yeah, level 14. Ooh, that special attack stat though, we got some good Pokemon. Oh, excellent. And Fireplace is evolving. I don't know if they actually added in the uh, evolution for Sneasel though. Micro yeah. Anyways, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful cool lava. Look at that beauty. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. Flash? Flash HM. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. It's perfect for a trainer who has defeated Falconer in battle. Is there anything like this? I think there's Pokemon in here anymore. So, let's use our escape rope and leave. So disappointed in what I did with Pikachu though. Oh man. Like, I am so disappointed. I just want to talk to this guy. I love fishing. Some guy in the Pokemon Center gave me a rod. I bet he'll give you one too. I already have it, so you're not really gonna need help. You know what, I'm not gonna go explore the cave because I believe the cave actually has a part later on that we can go to, I, I believe? I, I think I'm I think I'm thinking of the right right. Anyway, I don't really think there's anything in there worth getting, is there? Ah, here's the mark. You guys never have anything. Oh, did I actually buy anything there? I'm gonna buy five Pokeballs just because we actually use some on Weevil. Weevil, Sneasel. So my cat is like climbing through all the crinkly stuff they can. Why, guys? Why must you do that to me? Also, random house. She uses the names of her favorite things to eat. For the nickname she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. Right. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Well, that, that's interesting. You know what? Just in case, because I don't know how stable this game is, let's save. No, I've not been playing three hours. It's because of speeding up to like two battles and stuff. Probably would take less time if I didn't speed it up. A 
Fairy Berry for Paralysis. Interesting. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to abandon the uh, Pikachu. I'm gonna take the uh, EXP share because I don't feel like that would be useful. So, while I'm gonna keep you with me, Sparky, you're not really gonna be the Pokemon I use. Just because I don't really find you useful now that you don't have Thundershock, and I'm pretty sure for some reason it probably wouldn't evolve. Hey, do you still give me, like, the uh, Miracle Seed? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases power of Grass-type moves. We don't have a Grass-type Pokemon yet, though. Your experience in Violet City should be useful for your journey. Okay, because it was the first gym badge? That sounds kind of like self-explanatory, dude. So many trees I need to cut. I haven't seen you around before. So you think you're pretty tough? Could be pretty tough there, uh, whatever your name is. Youngster Albert. I live in Alberta. Oh, Rattata. Level s Oh my god. Dude, that is not even strong. And Zubat. Oh my god. These Pokemon are so bad. Like, they're not even attempting to be good now. You're strong. Yeah, your Pokemon are like really under level to what they make me uh, level up to. Also, do they have like. Do they have, um. Is there like a way to check the uh, moves? I don't think there are. But I was gonna say, like, do we have abilities in this or something? No, I don't want a Rattata. Rattata's are lame. The heck is this? A train track? This is, um, interesting, I guess. A new mechanic going on here. Also, what are you doing here? Ain't looking for nothing but a good time. Oh god, that, that's pervy. Are there gonna be, like, pervs in this game now? And we got a rocker. Or guitarist CC. Has a coffin. Oh, that's an interesting Pokemon. You're bulky in defense. But that actually wasn't that much of a challenge, to be honest. And Grimer, you know what? Let's send out Fireplace. Fireplace can just ember it up. Ooh, we got a crit. Some poison types there, though. It don't get better than this. Oh, wait, what do you mean? It does get better. I beat you. Whoa! You made me lose that fish. Oh, so they kept the fisherman, but they added a random guitarist. I feel like they got rid of trainers, though. Justin. Ju like, Justin Trudeau? Yeah. Fine, man. Oh, this is the magic card trainer, okay. Oh man, I do not like magic card trainers. Sploosh! I kinda wish I had Sparky you now. And, like, literally every route just gives me the same Pokemon. My Pokemon? Freshly caught! In the Poliwag, eh? You know, Scratch has the same power as Pokemon, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. Stop getting the crits, dude. And then you just go splash. Lame water Pokemon trainers. I'm a good angler, but I'm an even better trainer. Oh, you still have a gold bean. Oh, well, I uh, kind of lost my Pokemon there. That is so bad. And we're level 15. Oh, gosh. Tick, I tried to rush things. Alright, well... Wooper. I don't really want a Wooper. You're not new. And you're not very offensive. Like, you can be, I guess. But you're not the best. And I want to go heal, because I don't have revives, though. Oh my god. Bellsprout? You don't want to kill it just because you're a Bellsprout. I wouldn't mind using a Bellsprout, but I'm not really entirely sure how easy leaf uh, stones are to get in this game. I don't want to use a Pokemon that evolves via stone if I can avoid, you know, avoid using one. Because I'm not entirely sure where you get it. So I'm going to try and make the episodes between 25 to 30 minutes most of the time. That way we can get a lot done, because Pokemon, while it's a long game, and I'm not milking it for ads, but guys, I, I don't even get an ad on my videos 99% of the time. But I'm doing this because I uh, want to get as much of the game done as possible bef like before Christmas. What? A, a battle? Sounds cool. I just had to have a drink of Pepsi. So we got Camper Roland and his Nidoran mail. Ooh, I like that sprite. I really do. And we beat it. 
Hmm, this is disappointing. It really is, though, dude. Could you imagine if I didn't use the experience share for, like, the longest time? I hear that Pokemon like to hide in trees. I don't have a TM for Headbutt, so I can't try it out yet, though. So sad. It is sad, man. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Aren't you, like, that youngster? Yeah, Gordon. Gordon Ramsay. Are you ground type? Yeah, you are ground type. Woo! And level 16. Wait, isn't Fire Blaze only level 15? Oh my god, he is too. Actually, I guess it didn't matter, but... Uh, water types. Not really something I like to deal with, but we have to. And we got Ditto. Huh. Just Ice Punch that Ditto. It's got his transform anyway. Weird seeing a Ditto so early on. Darn, I thought I could win. I do like the change of Pokemon, though, and not using, like, literally the exact same Pokemon every time. <gasps> Ooh, is that the person who gives me the Sharp Beak or whatever item it is in this one? It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Okay, no, I'm Friday a Friday. Nice to meet ya. Here's a poison bar for you. Oh, no, no, poison one, not the sharp beak. Give it to a Pokemon that has a poison type move. Oh, it's wicked. You'll be shocked how good it makes poison moves. It, I think it increases like by 1.2 or 1.3 times. Uh, I believe there's a trainer down here, and that's why I want to do this before I do anything. Uh huh, yeah, and you know, pardon battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, but make it fast. They they move this person from up above down to here. I think we'll get to the next town through the cave, and that'll be the episode, though. Picnicker, Picnicker Liz and her you know, female. So they kept her the same, pretty much. Oh, I also forgot to swap out Grinch uh, for Fireplace. What is this item right here? Ah, free Great Ball. If we find anything good. I've actually been using Sneasel a lot in Wi-Fi battles uh, in Pokemon. They're actually really good. Try to band them up. Ooh, they hit hard. Eden Cave wasn't always dark. All the snow and ice covered up the natural skylights. Now you have to use Flash to navigate. Oh, because right. because Flash wasn't really mandatory in this game. It was just like one of those additions, you know. You can still see though. But uh, we'll go teach Flash to the Pikachu because you know Pikachu is just gonna be my HM slave now. We will... Well, there goes Quick Attack! Making even more useless. I don't like that. And there we go. Now we can see... Zubat. Mm, not a really good Pokemon. What are you? Are you a Fire Breather or a Hiker? I'm a boss at raising Pokemon. Let's see what a kid like you can do. I raise my Pokemon like literally anybody else. Oh god, it's a Cue Ball, actually. Cue Ball Ray and his Sancho. Actually, did nice. Thanks for having me, Chiyodu. Whoa! I got they just randomly added Gen 1 people in this game. You know, like cue balls and rockers and stuff. They weren't in the uh, Gen 2 games. Oh, this is a hiker. You are headed to Azalea, are you? Let me see if your Pokemon are good enough to battle. Oh yeah, Azalea has the next gen. I think I'll record one more episode after this and call it an episode uh, a day. Yeah, anyways, we got Hiker Russell and Geodude. Pretty sure this guy is the guy that just has three Geodudes, so I'm gonna have to use you. Yeah, you have Geodude and Screech. No. Yes. And just another Geodude. Yeah, this guy is the exact same as the original game. Oh, oh, oh. Oshikuru? No, we're not watching. Uh, two and a half Andrew. If you were a better Pokemon, I'd grab you, but you're not. <gasps> no! Swine up! I need this in my life. I need a swine up in my life. I need a swine up in my life. I need a swine up in my life. We caught it! Yes! Woo! I've been waiting to find one. I, I know I don't need all these ice type Pokemon, but. I'm gonna name, I don't think Ice Age Swag fits, so... We're just gonna name him Ice Age because reasons. My non Gen 7 games is Ice Age Swag. So before we end up fighting this guy, Sparky on screen. Also, why is it a dog? Is that what its sprite was in the original game? If so, that is terrible. 
feel so sorry for. It. There we go. You know what I lo love most about exploring caves like this? All the zoo bats. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. You don't like all the zoo bats there, Mr. Q Ball, I'm assuming. Yeah, they got rid of the fire breathers for Q Balls. Bill. And his zoo bat. Oh no. He likes using zoo bat. Zoo bats. Hey, level 16. Perfect. And level 5 on Ice Age. Ice Age Learn Powder. Ooh, good. Kept going up in level, though they're still weak as balls, man. But attack and speed, though. Oh, dang it. Um, item down here. Let's go see what we can find. That guy's having like a seizure up there, spinning around in circles like a ninny poo. And too bad. Yeah, good thing I found a swine up. You didn't get them till the ice cave, at like almost the end of the uh, main game in this. I'm not talking about the Kanto part, just the uh, Johto part. Looks like we can come back here with Surf later. Geodude is also found here. I believe there's two items in here too. Moonstone. Oh, so it looks like they did uh, increase the amount of stones you can find, because you could not find any stone laying around in the original game. It would have been funny if you actually put a uh, sunstone there. It'd be like moon, sun. Then it would actually get a sun current. Or an oddish. Yeah, true. So let's ground it. Flying poison. Kill, dude. You're worse than the Zubats. Awakening. I don't really care about awakening. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rebel. I'm pretty sure this guy stands by the stairs. And over here you have either a hiker or a fire breather. And Larry. That's a slow poke. Mm -hmm. Tackle him a thousand times. And I think I said just gonna be slow leveling. Also, my kitty smells like litter. Hey there, fancy seeing you here. What? Since we're here, how about we have a battle? You can check out my new Pokemon. Wait, is that automated? I didn't even put, click any button. Pokemon Breeder Hero? And it's Zig Zig. Really? Seriously, Zig Zig? Zig 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 Ha! Huh, I just got owned. That was legit. We'll have to do this again sometime. Anyway, I'm off to Azalea Town for some of Kurt's Pokeballs. See ya, May. Okay. Cool. Hey, what have we got in this berry tree? Petra Berry, even though we've only been poisoned once by one random Zubat. I mean, Zubat Weedle. You know, Grinch, you're gonna be like my highest level for a while for some reason. I came through a tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. Okay. Cool. And we got Anthony, which has a Geodude, which is perfect for Ice Punch. And next Pokemon is Machop. Oh, she's actually swapped up, but we one shot it anyway, because we're just that boss. Level 8. Whoa, kid, you've got some more zip. Okay, anyways, fire blades. Let's go. Cause now we're in Azalea Town, Azalea Town. Oh, the well's frozen over. Dude, hold still. I never knew there was an icy cape behind Slowpoke Well. I knew I saw Deli Bird at times, but I never knew how they got here. Now it all makes sense. I haven't seen Deli Bird working on their presence lately. I wonder what's wrong. What are they now, Santa Claus? Probably. I heard that Josephig once bought Linux. Wait, what? Why? No matter where you go, rarity is the coolest thing around. Isn't that so? You know it. I just can't get enough of rarity. What? 
is rarity. Do you know about apricorns? They don't they don't grow in winter. The trees still normally grow berries though. At least Kurt has a stock of custom balls he sells in the winter time. Well, that's actually a cool idea. So anyways, in the next episode guys, what we'll be doing is we will be exploring Azalea Town and uh, probably dealing with whatever Team Rocket here is doing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye!